is it in episode one you talk about Mick Jagger? Oh, yeah. Is that a true now, story? No, that's true. Now, so, again, so some of the stories are true. And Now, this is a true story that I was... <laughs> this is about a Christmas and a bit ago. I was at a party in a house and he was there. And, and I'd met him before at something, so he came over and he's chatting away. And he's a remarkable man. He's 73, but he... I think I'm right in saying that. He's as thin and wiry as anything, but he has got energy. It's like in Cocoon, you know, when that light goes... <laughs> <laughs> he has energy emanating from him. It's remarkable. And we talked and it was all nice. And then my wife and I were leaving, went down the stairs on the first floor, and as we were heading to the door, I heard, Rob! Rob! <laughs> and I looked round, what, what? And he was on the, on the landing. And he went, don't throw those bloody spears at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, lo I looked at... I said, what? And I said, what? He went, don't throw those bloody spears at me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had no idea. I was thinking, what is going on? <laughs> is he having a stroke? <laughs> He's in the age range, you know. <laughs> and then I realised, oh, he's doing Michael Caine in Zulu. <laughs> He's doing me from the trip. Doing so I realised. So, so, oh, so I went. I've told you before. <laughs> if you're not going to sing, I don't want to bloody know. Now get back in the other room. <laughs> 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 He's gone. Oh,